New gliding soft plastics from Berkeley, Japan, and Jackal Japan. Lucky Craft tries to regain the top of the trout game. And the brand new limited edition Respect Series drop from Mega Bass Japan. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back my friends. I am Ben with The Hookup Tackle, AKA The Tackle Taco on Instagram, being filmed once again. What's up, Jeffrey? It's so good to be back. By my buddy, Jeffrey the King. We're The Hookup Tackle USA. This is what's new this week at The Hookup Tackle where we highlight new product offerings that have arrived as well as important restocks so you guys can stay on top of the game. So, Jeff, I missed you. It was weird last week not having you. How hey, was your trip? Uh, I've had better trips in my life. Okay. You did great, though, without me. That live stream was impeccable. Uh, dude, I'm amazing. The cold Orion. Yeah, the beautiful quality of video <laughs> coming from my camera that the, had my fingerprint over the, it. The angle. The, yeah, everything about it was pretty <laughs> much uh, nailed. Yeah, I'm glad you're back, Jeff. Glad to be here. I missed you. You need a hug? Uh, maybe Are we later. hugging yet? Okay. We could do the cold Orion thing. Yeah, I know. We can. Yeah, we'll we'll do that here in a second. So what's up, guys? Some really cool new drops this week. We got some cool new Berkeley Japan, some Jackal Japan, some Daiwa. We'll break into that here in a second. But for I think this is the third week in a row now, we have some special limited edition Mega Bass uh, drop happening today. And I know this is crazy, like Bing Bing Boom. But there was that kind of big space there in May, just the way the timing is coming down. Everything's kind of landing all at once. So once again, super stoked to bring you guys the latest Respect Series color from Mega Bass. You know what? Let me let you guys enjoy the color. I'm gonna let Jeff take it from here and then we'll reconvene. So uh, you know what? Hold on, let me grab a cold Orion while I enjoy it. It's actually this kind of morning, Jeff. It's you, been a long week without you guys. Do you think that's healthy? Mm -hmm. Of course, it'd be weird if all you did was drink caffeine or all you did was drink alcohol, right? It's yin and yang. You want one? No. Um. Happy Sunday, everyone. Cheers. Appreciate you guys being here. Always fun to be here drinking. Will you Orion. ever stop drinking Orion? <sighs> nope. How are you not the national spokesperson of Orion? I don't get it either, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. It's really become a, a fun game with them you know One of maybe i'm just not drinking it early enough maybe we need to start these episodes at like 5 a.m yeah when they're awake like in bed maybe <laughs> yeah. that'd be weird in the shower we'll save that for the only fans page yeah subscribe down below mm -hmm. okay cheers everyone jeff take it away i'm gonna kick back enjoy my orion and check out the brand new respect series color crystal lime frog here we go Well done, Jeff. Yeah, I 
that was just such a fantastic color to work with, truly. Dude, so this is a super dope color. So let me give you a little back story and some history on Crystal Lime Frog. So first off, before we get to that, if you guys aren't familiar with the Respect series drops, each month Mega Bass takes a color from their past, from their history that they love and they do it through an assortment of baits. It is a one time limited offering that they do. This is the latest offering. So Crystal Lime Frog was originally a color that they made in the early 2000s in the Pop X. So it was made in the Pop X. They later made it also in the Dog X. And those are the only two baits that they've ever made the color in until now. So this is a really special color. It's a beautiful color. It's, it's honestly probably one of my favorite Respect Series colors that they've done. So Crystal Lime Frog is basically a take on a frog pattern, obviously, right? But it is a fully transparent kind of muted chartreuse, right? So it's fully transparent. So when you hold this up to the light, the light totally cuts through and it turns like just a really nice kind of pale transparent color. It's got this beautiful kind of goldish pearl belly and also the same color comes in on the markings up top. So completely unique for Mega Bass. The first and only time it's been made in 10 or really 11 of these 12 baits. So let's just run through the baits really quick with you and make sure that you guys know what is available. And this is going to be one of those colors because it's fully transparent. This is gonna be a great color to throw in clear water because the light is gonna go through it. And it's gonna break down the color. It's also a color that has enough body to where if you wanna throw it in some you know, stained or tannic water, it's gonna hold up in that water too. So a lot of versatility. If you guys are collectors, obviously this is gonna be one that you're gonna definitely add to your collection because it's so rare. Definitely one of the rarest colors in their respect lineup. So it is available in the 110, obviously. Holding it here. Also available in the 110 Junior. Griff, we gotta go out and just destroy him on this thing. This is gonna be a fun one to catch fish on. Yeah, yeah I wanna see this thing hanging out of the fish's mouth. Staying in the jerk bait, the X80 Junior. This thing's gonna be killer for trout this summer, dude. Oh yeah. All right, and then in top water, obviously we showed you guys the Pop X. Is also available in the Pop Max. I always like to take the pop max out too. Yeah, you do. I like to take it out, Jeff. Mm -hmm. There's a look at it in the pop max. You can really see that transparency come through on that. So super dope there. It's available in the Prop Darter 80. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, this is the like really finessey wake bait of the Mega Bass lineup. So same body as the Trick Darter 80, but it has this asymmetrical prop on the back. So kind of that same prop that you find on the Okashira screw head. So it's gonna create a clack and a little bit of sound, but very finessey. So super dope to see it offered in there. We also see a couple of our favorite baits, the X-Pod and the X-Pod Junior offered in this. Have we had any Respect Series colors in the X-Pod? I don't think before? so. Before? Is this the first one in the X-Pod and the X-Pod Junior? That's dope. The X-Pod and X-Pod Junior, some of our favorite topwater baits. Let's take one up, just because it's been a while since these things have been offered in anything. We got them in some limited edition, like uh, holiday celebration colors, but these guys have a loud knock in the back, so when you use it as topwater, Right, it's gonna give you that loud kind of calling sound similar to like a kick knocker or shower blows. But what makes an X-Pod special is the lip has the ability to click into different places to create different actions of the bait. So the further down you move this lower lip, the more it's going to dive or wake under the water. And the higher up you push this, the more it's going to be a true top water moving bait. Now, I own a bunch of these. I keep that lip up probably 99% of the time. It's an amazing walking top water bait. It's just got a great sound to it. It moves amazingly well, but a lot of guys like to play with it and adjust that lip so that it turns into more of a underwater wake or move. But 
I'm excited to see it. I know you guys will love it in this color. It looks super sick in this color. So there you go. That's the X-Pod and X-Pod Junior. We also see it in the ORC. So another great wake bait. We also see it in the Griffin Zero. Griff, are you excited about this color? Yes. Here, come hold it. Yes. Now, are you excited because it says Griff on it, or you actually? No, the bait's dope. You love this bait. Yeah. Yeah. Griffin Zero is a sick little wake bait. So, for guys that didn't get on the last round, what can you tell them about the Griffin Zero? Well, it's just super compact, and you can move it really fast in the water. So, like, it's just like a fleeing shad. Like, it, it'll move, it moves a lot of water, and you can move it really fast. It's got that tight little rattle in the back. Yeah. So there you go, another another little mini wake bait. Of course, if you want to dive a little bit, it's available in the SRX Griffin as well. And then finally wrapping it up, the Deep X 100 LBL. So there you go, 12 baits, first time it's been made in the majority of those. Knock it out guys, Crystal Lime Frog. This is a one-time offering, so once they're gone, they're gone. So if it speaks to you, grab them, happy shopping. All right, while we are on Mega Bass, let's talk about a couple of important restocks, specifically in soft plastics. But before we jump in, uh, a lot of you guys have been waiting for the return of the Griffin Bait Finesse. These guys are back in stock. The Bait Finesse is the smallest Griffin that they make. It's a 38 millimeter, uh, weighs 3 16 of an ounce. So super dope little, you know, Bait Finesse crankbait. It's going to dive down into that six to eight foot zone. It's got a really nice little high pitch rattle in there. So all the colors are back in this guy. If you guys missed out on the last round, those are back. Soft plastics, huge restock from Mega Bass Japan in soft plastics this week. I'll fly through them just to give you guys heads up. The tournament crawler, this bait has really been catching fire as of late. It's an amazing drop shot bait. You can do a lot of different things with it. Designed to be Neko rigged is really the purpose behind it. And we've shown this here before, but I know a lot of you guys still haven't fully got on the idea of these crawlers, but you can see it's got all these different ribs, so it's gonna give out different vibrations, and then it has this kind of ribbed paddle tail that's just gonna quiver very, very naturally. So wacky rig, neko rig, drop shot, any of those, a great worm to add to the lineup. It's available in a three and a half, a four and a half, and a five and a half inch size, so you can match whatever size you need. All the colors are back this week in that guy. We also see a return in a couple of our favorite plastics, the Rock Hog in the two and a half inch size. This is the most versatile size. So it's available in a two inch, a two and a half, and a three. We should see the threes restock next month from Japan. The two and a halves were this month. So all the colors, including cinnamon blue, Weeby Green Pumpkin, all that are back this week. Cinnamon blue has been our number one color, I think just because it's got all those, you know, dope little goby colors in it. And again, I know you guys are familiar with the Rock Hog, but this is just a great size, a two and a half for throwing on the free rig, for throwing on a Ned, for throwing just on a jig head as a jig trailer, right? Just a ton of versatility to this guy. It's got great arm flapping motion. So those are back. If you guys missed out on any of the key colors, those are back this week. And then we posted this on Instagram a few days ago as well, letting you guys know that the return of the TK Twister happened this week as well from Mega Bass Japan. The TK Twister is a great bait designed to be a back gliding bait, but guys have found all kinds of riggings for this thing. TK Twister is kind of a thick body, very similar to like a Yamamoto shaped body. Like if you're used to a Yamamoto fat Ica or double tail grub, kind of that same thickness there. It's got two long tentacles on there. So if you rig the bait backwards, it will glide away from you and back glide into cover. A lot of guys just use it as a jig trailer or almost like a weightless Senko and it will fall and these two little guys will just kind of quiver down. So available in a three and a half and a four and a half inch size. Those are back this week as well. All right, and then let's talk about curly tail worms for a minute. So the Kamuri Curly. So this is a new curly tail worm that Mega Bass Japan brought out a few weeks ago. It's sold out really fast in some of the key colors, specifically the green pumpkin shad color. I'll take this out just in case you guys haven't been playing with this. This guy has been crushing them, specifically on a drop shot. So this is the time of the year where if you guys are throwing a drop shot, 
adding a curly tail worm to the lineup is a great idea. It just gives the bait a little more life, a little more action. This guy has a bunch of kind of reverse ribs to it, so it's gonna create a special vibration under the water. It's also a little wider than it is tall, so it's gonna have a little side to side movement to it while it gets that great curl action. So when the fish get a little more juiced, a little more energized, great time to add that little curly tail. So these guys are back, the two and a half inch, the three and a half inch, the four and a half inch, all available again from Mega Bass. We also see a return this week from Daiwa Japan of the Steez Hydro Curly. Now this is a worm that we brought in last year. It sold out immediately. We've been getting some small trickles in. Finally, they did a good size restock. The Hydro Curly is a super dope curly tail worm that has these little like dangly appendage things on there. I don't know, what would you call these? Good things, terms, dude. Jeff. Like that little really... little ticklers, I ticklers, think. Ticklers, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nailed I, it. They're, they're not French. They're not French? No, they're definitely, they're definitely Japanese ticklers. Oh. Do you have a better term? Well, I've never met a Japanese tickler before or a <laughs> French tickler. That's a shame. <laughs> You're just not paying enough money, Jeff. So here you go. The Steez Hydro Curly. You liked that, didn't you? See, now you know. So Morning Dawn, Green Pumpkin, all the key colors. So again, you've got this really nice, soft plastic curly tail with these little ticklers. That's the, that's the technical term. The ticklers basically just kind of sit there and quiver as the bait is moving, just giving the body of the bait some life. So just a different look under the water, super dope curly tail. Those are in from Daiwa Japan. All right, also new this week from Daiwa Japan. So in Japan, Daiwa makes a ton of lures, hard baits, soft baits. You know, in, in the US, we know Daiwa as a rod brand is a real brand is a line brand but a lot of you guys have been asking us to bring over the Daiwa hard bait so we are going to start so this is the introduction this week of the Daiwa Steez square 100 so this is a brand new square bill from Daiwa it's just a great little finesse small square bill here let's let's take it out it is made in Japan so there is a look at that guy. Totally silent, right? So no rattles inside. Just a nice, finessey, kind of like a 1.0 size square bill, I would say. So definitely you could throw this on your bait finesse. You could throw this on your lighter square bill gear. Uh, but when you guys are looking for something small to imitate the little bait, little fry, a little more natural, this could be a great option comes right out of the box with all the high-end components, great hooks, great split rings. So all you gotta do is tie it on and throw it. Uh, it's also available in a ton of really dope colors. So if you guys have been looking for a new, just addition to your square bill lineup, definitely check that out. The Square 100, the Steez Square 100 from Daiwa, Japan. Oh, and let me, let me spec it out for you guys really quick so you're not just staring at my fingers holding it. So it's 47 millimeters and 6.2 grams. So just under a quarter ounce, comes with a size six hook, and they're saying one meter is the dive depth. So what you would expect, right? So anywhere from that two to five feet, depending on the line. So there you go, square 100 from Daiwa. All right, and then an important restock from Daiwa Japan while we are on there. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this guy to come back. So this is the Steez Limited SV T-Wing. So these guys have been really difficult to get. Every time we get them, they fly out. So I know you don't need to see this reel again, but anytime I get a chance to hold one, I like to hold it. So this is the reel that when it first came out, it created tons of controversy. Remember all the controversy, Jeff? Oh yeah. Yeah, just the same old Daiwa tech. Yeah, it's the same right? thing. All the nonsense from all, uh, you know, the usual. Suspects? Yeah, haters, right? I can tell you, even though, dude, you can't, you can't take something that's already amazing like a Steez and just like have the crazy new tech, it's always small little refinements. The refinements they've made to this guy are mind blowing. So this is without question the best casting reel I've ever owned. It throws forever. I can't even explain it. You gotta experience it. So there you go. If you guys have been waiting on the Steez Limited, 
they're expensive, right? $6.99, but incredible reels, beautiful, made in Japan, all the new tech. Geek out, if you guys are looking for a reel, honestly, I've got these on all my jerkbait setups, all my light topwater setups. I can't even explain how far they throw. And we've talked about it before, but incredible reels. So if you've been waiting, back in stock again from Daiwa Japan. Back and forth. Yin and Yang, baby. Gotta doesn't that taste terrible? It really doesn't. The so, coffee with the alcohol it tastes good. It's a beer. Yeah. Coffee and beer, friends. Hmm. So you gotta survive Sunday mornings, Jeff. You'll learn one of these days, Will youngster. I? Yeah. <laughs> All right. While we are on smaller crankbaits, Lucky Craft brings back only a handful of colors, but hey, we're gonna take what we can get, the LC 1.0. So, you know, arguably, Lucky Craft makes the best, you know, most famous, hey, calm down there over there, guy. The most famous, probably most universal square bill, the LC 1.5. The LC 1.0 is the smaller version of that. So two and an eighth inch, three eighths of an ounce, just a great, you know, all around square bill. These guys are still tuned in Japan. So like the old school RC and the old school RTO 15s where they're tuned, these guys are still done that way. So right out of the box, you should be good to go. So like I said, only available in a handful of colors, Teal Craw, BP Golden Shiner, I know Teal Chartreuse, maybe one other, but if you guys have been waiting, those are back. Now, Lucky Craft for a long time owned the trout market as far as like bass brands dabbling in trout. I think it's safe to say that Smith and Jackson have always been kind of the two big, you know, trout brands. But as far as bass brands that have dabbled back into trout in Japan, Lucky Craft has always kind of led the way with the Pointer 65, you know, the humpback, the areas, right? And over the last couple of years, brands like Mega Bass with their great hunting series, Duo with the Spearhead Ryuki have really, you know, kind of stole a lot of the thunder from Lucky Craft because Lucky Craft has always played in like suspending jerk baits. And then Duo and Mega Bass, some of those other brands started creating sinking baits that worked a lot better in current. So Lucky Craft is ready to regain their throne. So we introduce this week a brand new bait from Lucky Craft. This is the Lucky Craft Pointer 50. Okay, so this is a brand new size and these are in sinking versions. So they're available in two sinks. They're available in a standard sink and a super sink. So basically the difference, they're both two inches long. The standard sink is going to weigh uh, basically an eighth of an ounce. So like just over three grams. The super sink is gonna weigh seven thirty seconds of an ounce. So about six grams. So you can get the same little two inch bait in almost a quarter ounce bait. Let's take one out. Let you guys check it out up close. So what's nice about a sinking bait is if you guys are fishing any type of current, right? A stream, a river, anything like that, and you need the baits to just be able to get down in the current so it maintains its depth, that's where you're gonna choose a sinker over a suspending bait. Now, Lucky Craft worked incredibly hard on these baits so that as you move these baits, they're going to vibrate very, very hard. If you listen internally, they have an internal shifter. And this isn't a shifter that's moving front to back like most balls do. This is a shifter that's shifting side to side, right? So if I shake it front and back, it's got a little bit, when I move it side to side, you can hear it kind of shifting and moving side to side. It's a little bit wider of a bait, but what that's allowing the bait to do is every time it moves, it's getting that weight to kind of push on it too, so it's gonna get a real strong vibration underwater. You can jerk these things like a rip bait, you can just wind them in like a crank bait. So just super dope little baits, perfect sizing, a bunch of colors, so really excited to get these out on the water. And so definitely take a look from Lucky Craft. This is the brand new Pointer 50 from Lucky Craft. We also see this week some new introductions in the Pointer 48. So this is another throwback that Lucky Craft used to produce quite a bit of. They are bringing it back 
uh, because this small bait revolution is really starting. So they're releasing it in some of their standard colors like Aurora Black, Ghost Minnow, Shell White, right? But they're also expanding their color lineup into some of these more, you know, trout-ish specific type colors. And we see it in the regular 48. We also see it in the 48 DD, so a little deeper bill. Now these are one and seven eighth inch or 48 millimeters, right? And they weigh 2.6 grams, so about 3 32nd of an ounce. This is definitely BFS or spinning rod territory, but some great new color additions. Excited to get these guys back. New from Lucky Craft Japan. All right, new this week from OSP Japan, we see the introduction of the OSP Jig Zero One. Now, if you guys subscribe to the Tackle Otaku Bento Box, you would have received one of these jigs in your box last month. This is one of our favorite little compact jigs. Uh, it's available in all the OSP colors, right? Green Pumpkin Chartreuse, you know, all the black colors, the Ibumizu Black, Green Pumpkin Blue, right? All the standard offerings. This is just a great little compact do everything jig. Skipping docks, pitching, just kind of open water casting. It's really the jig to do it all. You can see it's a nice compact size. It's got a great hook, it's got a great hookup ratio to it, right? So it's just nice and small. It fits a two and a half or three inch trailer amazingly well. So a little three inch dough life craw, two and a half inch rock hog, any of that stuff fits it perfect. It comes right out of the package ready to go. So you don't really need to trim the skirt. You don't need to do anything. Just go fishing, right? You can see it's got that perfect little kind of pitching slash casting hybrid head. So a lot of you guys that got it in the box have been crushing them on it, been asking us to bring it in. So they are in. It's available in several sizes, all the colors, new this week from OSP. All right, new for us this week, we see the introduction of the Nori's NF60 Frog. Now you guys have been asking us to expand the Nori's lineup, so here you go. This is going to be the newest edition of the lineup of Nori's. It's got kind of a more of a 3D body design. So it's got some uh, depth and contours to it. It's built rather wide, but it's built very smart. It kind of comes up high to protect these hooks but then it's also indented and shallow there so that it collapses easily. The hook rotates around very easily so you get great hook sets inside of there. It's weighted very specifically so that the bait kind of has a little bit more of a head up and kind of back down so it has a little bit more of a waking action. So when the fish suck at it, there's a little bit more frog underwater to get into their mouths than most frogs that sit very high on the water. So I know, you know a lot of you guys are right in the middle of frog season right now. 15 bucks, so it's priced you know very well, especially for a Japan-made frog. So check that out, the NF60 from Nori's. Big week this week from Berkeley, Japan. Now we've been trickling in some soft plastics from Berkeley, Japan per your guys' request. This week we see some of the most asked about baits land. So here you go. The Power Glider is now in stock in all of the key colors. So let me let me open this guy up. So gliding soft plastics are definitely becoming very popular and just because there's just so much versatility to this. So this is going to be yep, same power bait formulation that you guys are used to here, only in a different shape. So again, this guy can be rigged backwards and it will glide away from you as it comes through cover. Uh, this would also be a great bait to throw weightless. You could throw it on a free rig, you can Texas rig it. So you see just a couple little appendages. You know, very simple. It's gonna just have that kind of gliding motion as it moves through, very subtle, right? So nothing fancy, but just a great effective body style. Kenta Kimura helped Berkeley Japan design most of their soft plastics. So all of these were designed to, with you know maximum fish catching in mind. So again, green pumpkin, green pumpkin chartreuse, all the colors that you would expect in stock now that is the Power Glide. Okay, we also see the addition this week of the Berkeley Power Bait Wide Shrimp. Now this is gonna be one that a lot of you guys are going to love as a jig trailer, of course. You can do whatever you want with this thing. You can free rig it. 
you can Texas rig it, but basically it is a nice little double tail grub. Uh, it's got this kind of ribbed body. It is really flat, so it's gonna make a really perfect jig trailer. And again, it's available in all the normal colors. It does have the kind of wider, almost like a rage crawl, you know, how it kind of widens out in the back there on those. So you're gonna get a lot of real hard thumping as it comes through the water. So there you go. Wide shrimp, it's a 3.2 inch, so it's gonna fit all those little finesse, you know, football jigs and stuff really well. So those are also available this week from Berkeley, Japan. <clears throat> all right, and we also see the introduction this week of the Berkeley Power Flutter. Now this is a four inch bait. This is definitely the one and again, it's available in all the colors, right? It's definitely the one that I get tons of requests on. It's because everybody loves a creature bait, right? So there you go. Probably the coolest creature bait that Berkeley makes, right? So let you guys kind of check that out. It's got ribs underneath. It's got the little ticklers. No longer are they going to be legs. <laughs> yeah, They're tickles. always just going to be ticklers. <laughs> so it's got the little ticklers on the side. The arms have these kind of, uh, you know, beefy claws, so they're going to give you lots of movement up and down, right? And then you have the tentacles that come out. So just a lot of life from this thing. This is going to be a great, like, bigger jig trailer, but really just perfect for flipping, pitching, Texas rig. It's going to be a dope one. Yep, same power bait scent. So check that out. All the colors available now from Berkeley, Japan. All right, we also see some brand new color additions in the Berkeley Power Wiggler. Now the Wiggler is the soft plastic swim bait that Berkeley Japan creates over there. And again, I really don't understand why these have not made it here to the US. I mean, I'm grateful, I guess, because I'll right. just bring them over. But the Wiggler is a super dope swim bait, again, designed by Kenta. Totally different than anything else Berkeley makes. It's got the thicker body. It's got a really big tail. So you've got just this great body wobble to it while that tail is back there kicking. Uh, just something different. Has that power bait scent, has the hook slot. So it's available in several different sizes. Bunch of new colors in it. As you get to the bigger sizes, they also come with a tube that you can rig for line through fishing. So the tube just goes into the front and then you can run the line through it. Of course, you can use like a beast hook or something like that as well. But again, some common sense, right? I don't understand why it's so difficult, but super cool that they put that in there. So if you guys like throwing paddle tail swim baits, definitely worth looking at from Berkeley Japan the Power Wiggler in stock. Okay, a dope new offering from Jackal Japan. We see the official launch of the Jackal Fivus. Now, this is another super dope gliding style bait that can be fished a lot of different ways. It is available in three different sizes. So it's available in a four and a half inch, a 3.8 inch, and a three inch size. So you can really fine tune the offering based on what you need the baits to do. Now, the Fivus was designed to be kind of a one bait to do everything kind of soft plastic bait. Each, each one is, is poured in Japan, so all these are made in Japan. So they're gonna be super high quality pours, super high quality colors. Now this bait has these really big kind of paddles on the back of it, right, as well as appendages, and it also has these little side appendages. So this bait is going to have a very subtle movement to it. It's really designed to kind of glide and kind of kick and just create kind of a wake and a mass as it's moving. You can pitch this bait, you can fish it on a Texas rig, flip it, you can fish it weightless and it will kind of fall and just give that nice little shimmy. It's an amazing free rig bait. So I know a lot of you guys have been really jumping on the free rig trend. So that 3.8 and three inch will be awesome for that. The four and a half inch is going to be perfect, you know, for your bigger fish, Texas rig, Carolina rig, and just weightless presentation. So excited to get these in. I know you guys are gonna catch a ton of fish. It's available in all the normal colors, right? So your green pumpkins, your watermelons, bluegills, right? All, all the dope shades is available now from Jackal Japan. Okay, while we are on Jackal Japan, I know a lot of you guys love the flick shake. Jeff, you're a huge fan of the flick shake. I am. So Jackal Japan decided to do a special run of the smaller size flick shakes, the 3 8 and the 4 8 in some special two-tone pours. Okay, what say you on that, Jeff? 
nice sexy two-tone. So there's some green pumpkins, there's some shads. Here, touch them, you can, you can touch them and play. So pretty dope. So everything offered here in the US is just like a solid one color, right? Green pumpkin, green pumpkin candy, watermelon, great colors. But the two-tone just give you just something a little bit different, little added edge to it, right? There you go. So now you just get a little extra body to it, right? So, you know, this is a green pumpkin with some chartreuse flake. You were just playing with kind of that green pumpkin shad color, right? So uh, if you guys like throwing the flick shake, just a different offering. I don't know if we'll be able to keep these in stock long term, but we did get a pretty special run of these. So definitely check that out if you guys enjoy throwing this bait available now from Jackal Japan. Your favorite little swim bait. Yeah. And then also a restock this week from Jackal Japan. Um, my favorite little swim bait, as Jeff just pointed out, the Jackal Baby Darabal. So this is just a super cute, really dope little swim bait. The, the bluegill patterns sell out it's instantly every time we get it. Thanks. Better? Yeah. So if you guys have been waiting for this guy to come back in stock, they are back now, all the colors. Just a really dope bait. It's just a ball basically with that little tail. So that ball kind of moves through the water and that tail just kicks really fast. It is a line through, which is super dope in such a small little bait. So if you guys have been waiting, the baby Darable back in stock. All right, let's jump over and talk about some brand new rod offerings this week. So we see some new rod offerings from Mega Bass Japan as well as Depths Japan. So let's start with Mega Bass. So staying on that kind of trout trend, we see two brand new offerings and the Mega Bass Great Hunting line of rods. Now, this is just a beautiful series of rods from Mega Bass. You see this gorgeous hand carved, like wood grain reel seat here, double lockdown reel seat, right? This is uh, a three piece rod. So, this is the 6 7 three piece rod from them. So, the official name is the Ham Loops Stinger 673. Okay, so this can be packed, it comes with a neoprene sleeve, you can hike it in places. Uh, but what's nice about this is it's a fully parabolic, just that perfect natural trout bend. So this would be a great one for river fishing, uh, kind of a hybrid lake slash stream. We need a shorter rod to be accurate, but you still need a long enough rod to be able to fish a lake. So if you guys are doing any of that type of fishing, this would be an incredible one. It comes ferled at the grip, right? And it also ferled up top. Uh, so it's very easy to pack, very easy to assemble. And then once it's assembled, your hand is going to sit on metal. So the sensitivity is gonna be excellent. The castability is gonna be great. So definitely check that dude out. Now, this, this I think, Griff's in trouble with this one. This is going to be my new poaching stick. So this is, I don't even know how to say this, but this is the Hemui Egoista 932. How'd I do, Jeff? Uh, I think you nailed it. What would you, what would you call it? It's right there on the, on the grip. Hemui Egoista. Hemui Egoista. Yeah. Hemui Egoista. All right. Um, this is the longest rod in the Great Hunting Series. So the Great Hunting Series is really designed for trout. But as we've been showing you guys over the last few months, it totally transfers over to any species you wanna use. We use their baits all the time for bass. And this is one of those rods that I just, I don't know, maybe you need this in your trout lineup. It's <laughs> nine foot three inches, right? And it's rated for seven to 28 grams. So quarter to one ounce. So. You guys must be fishing for some different trout than I that I fish for, right? So this is a pretty long fucking rod. Oh, you think? Yeah, <laughs> but this rod, I am telling you right now, this uh, rod is the perfect bend. I mean, look at that for a little dipper. Yeah. I am going to be a poaching motherfucker with this thing. I'm going to outcast Griff in every competition we ever do that involves oh, done, spin casting. Yeah. yeah. It might be a little soft at the tip for a drop shot rod. Maybe a little bit. But for like reaching boils and oh, throwing dude. little dippers and it's shit, right there. you're in trouble, dude. Look at him. <laughs> he knows. But beautiful, full court grip. It's got that nice long, just bomb dude, shit out there. We I take wish that I. To a tiny little creek. I think that'd be perfect I for a tiny I little creek. I wish I needed this for trout. Don't you? 
God. Somebody somewhere. Tight, close quarter combat. Share. Yeah. yeah. You wouldn't have to cast. You would just dabble. Doop. Drop it in the stream. Um, I can't wait for whoever buys these to share photos with uh, me because I want to see where you're fishing. I want to see what you're catching. But again, just a gorgeous rod. All this beautiful marbleization in there. That hand carved wood. You want to you want to touch my rod? So that rod is a two piece rod. Why are you just giving me one piece of it back? <laughs> hey, where's the second half of my rod, motherfucker? Oh, this is the half I get, and you get the other half. <laughs> okay, that segment's done. So there you go, guys. The Hamui Egoista. Yeah. I probably just slaughtered Egoista, the shit out of it, but it's yeah. dope. The nine three great hunting. Let's there just call go. it that. Get Sexy. It. Get it. All right. One more new rod from Mega Bass. Now this is technically in their saltwater line, but this is a series that crosses over great into freshwater as well. This is the Shadow Double X. This is the seven eight. L. So this is the seven foot eight inch light. Uh, this is a dope one. It's got a max lure rating of three quarters of an ounce. You can see just a beautiful styling here. This is also a two piece. Okay, so it comes with a rod sleeve, so it's easy to pack. Uh, really designed to be like a beach fishing rod. You know, so if you guys are fishing from the beach, throwing jerk baits, soft baits, anything like that, it's a great one. It's got that nice kind of bend. So any of that smaller duty saltwater fishing would be great. For freshwater, it'd be kind of the same thing. You know, small swim baits, small lighter hard baits. Basically, reminds me a lot of a Mega Bass Ronin. Uh, very similar taper in how it is, just much longer at 7.8. So if you guys want to take a look at a very interesting rod, the Shadow Double X 7.8L in stock from Mega Bass Japan. All right, and then two new rod drops from Depths Japan this week, and really excited about both of these. So let's start with this first one. So this is the brand new gain element, soft jerking element. So you're gonna see a theme in here, Jeff. Jerking? It, it involves one of your favorite activities, which is jerking, mm -hmm. right? So soft jerking element. This rod was designed specifically for throwing the Depths Cover Scat and Sakamata Shad. Now, the Gain Element line is a very special line of rods that Depths has developed to be the most accurate casting line of rods available on the market. They are incredibly light, feel that. So super light, yeah. right? Not much to them. Very sensitive. I've been using both the moving element and the flipping element for quite some time. Very crisp, very sharp. But they have developed them to all have regular tapers. So they're more parabolic through the midsection while keeping that real crisp and sensitive feeling. All the grips are custom designed. They're all kind of ergonomic so that when you cast and you make little accurate casts, the rod stays put in your hand without any kind of twisting. So just a great all around rod. Again, if you guys throw the Sakamata Shad or the Cover Scat, any kind of fluke style bait, really designed for an accurate cast and then really designed to kind of give it that kind of jerk and then be able to feel every single little bite there with the sensitivity. So stoked to have them. The soft jerking element, just spec it out. 3 8 to 1.5 ounce, 14 to 25 pound line, new from Depths. All right, and then to wrap things up, the swim bait rod that you never knew you needed, Jeff. <laughs> Needed is a strong word. No, this, this everybody needs a rod like this. I introduced to you the brand new Depths Sidewinder, the Strong Jerk. <laughs> so we had the soft jerking element. Now we have the Strong Jerk. Which way do you prefer, Jeff? Soft jerk or strong jerk? Normally I'll go with the soft because I do it more. Okay. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I need a drink. <laughs> We're gonna talk about jerking. In the video. Yeah. So, I don't know if jerk is talking about the angler using this yeah, rod. Yeah, I don't know what the jerk came from. So, really, what the jerk means, so, let's let's talk about this rod for a second. So, this is, I'm gonna spec this out for you, it's a <laughs> 7-1 triple extra heavy rod rated, I, I'm saying this correctly, for 1.5 kilos. So... Like three and a half pounds. 
Yes, so 50 ounces is what this rod is capable of throwing. Now, what Depths wanted to do is they wanted to design a shorter rod, right? So it's seven foot one, that was capable of throwing massive swim baits, right? So you know in Japan, there's this trend of throwing like A-rigs with five big swim baits on it, or like donkey rigs with two big swim baits, or just those, you know, shitty baits like you and I have been throwing. Unfortunately. Right? Like the mother throwing. chaser or, you know, any of these things that weigh like- Too much. Yeah, way too much, <laughs> right? But that are really big, right? The Yugo framed stuff, yeah. right? On and on and on and on, right? The challenge is to get a rod that can throw those kind of baits. We've always had to get like these big eight and a half foot rods yeah, to monsters. handle it, right? And you put 15, 20 ounces, eight and a half feet away from you, they suck to throw. Uh, plus they're just a nightmare to store. I mean, very few rod lockers can store such a rod. So Depth set out to develop a true seven foot rod that could handle all of these things, keep the weight closer to you, cast easier, stores easier. If you're fishing from shore, if you're fishing from a smaller boat, if you're fishing from a kayak, you'd no longer have to throw these massive eight or nine foot rods. So. Let's talk about the styling. It has this beautiful kind of carbon fiber, 3D carbon fiber back grip. It's got a big back grip back here. It does come with a couple of lure wraps as well. It's got that big rubberized grip back there. And, you know, typical Sidewinder huge custom. It's over wrapped, double foot guides, double wrapped all the way through. So these rods are incredibly strong, incredibly just super burly and they have the right action. So even though it's a 50 ounce rated rod. Never thought I'd be talking about this in bass fishing. Um, it still <laughs> bends through the middle of the rod. Use your muscles right? and bend that thing. But you can't see it? Come on, dude. This is strength. That's Orion built right there. Yeah. So you're still going to get the right action. So is it stiff? Well, fuck yeah, it's stiff. Yeah, any, it's, anything's gonna be stiff. It's rated for 50 ounces, right? So is this the rod you buy to throw your fucking slide swimmer 175 or 250? No, no, right? Get the seven six huge custom or something for that. But if you guys want to throw two 250s, easy, right? No, no problem. problem. You want to throw a three? mother, a big Yugo frame, on three an, on two an fifties, dude? You want to throw five two fifties? Right. Rig. So what's a 250? Six ounces? Six ounces. That's so, only 30 ounces, dude. We have plenty. Yeah, That's you a could, sweet spot. Actually. You could literally throw 10 of them. You could do a 10 A-rig with 250s on this guy. And you'll be just fine. It's amazing. I don't know why I need this rod. But, but I really want There's a part want. of me that feels like I need it. Right. Just in case. I right. Want to Once throw. I put this in my hand, it's like, dude, this rod is so dope. So do you like this rod, Griff? Oh, you couldn't handle this. Rod. <laughs> Dude, you could throw like 20 gongs at the same time. Yeah, think of the gong throwage you could do on this rod. Dude, you could throw all your favorite wake baits. You could throw your entire gong box <laughs> on this thing. I mean, just it just it feels great. Uh, I don't, you know, I know some of you throw these massive baits. Here you go. Here's a stick. Here, you can do you it. That's all you need. There's just not many of these, you know, type rods so on the market. Cool. So there you go. That if is insane. Yeah. Seven one. They're expensive. 850 bucks. Like all the high end sidewinders from depths. They do come with a full one year warranty from depths. So there is something there. Uh, but check them out. Beautiful, strong as can be. Strongest rod we've strong ever had jerk. in the store. It yeah. is the strong jerk. New <laughs> this week from depths Japan. All right. So we got to see at what point this rod loads, Jeff. Yep. So let's let's play. So let's put on. So this is a manifold. Okay. So the 13 inch one, mind yeah, you. 13 inch manifold. Let's say about 13 ounces. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it loads this thing. Okay, I've got a 300 size reel on here that's definitely too small. Does the 13 inch manifold do anything for load? No. Actually, this feels. All right. Yeah, this feels all right. So, this feels like I, I could heave it back and chuck it. Yeah, 
This feels like it would have power to, to heave to it. To heave it. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely need a 400 size reel on this, though. Yeah. All right. So this is kind of a start. It's not really loaded much. No. Right? It's just kind of dead to tip. Okay. So, all right. There's test subject one. What if you're going to donkey rig two Donkey rig. Okay. I right. like this. Here. It, not with only, the box. With the box. Right? Let's say you just wanted to be like super crazy. Uh, We're going to donkey rig two mothers with the boxes. Hype. Let's just tie it straight to the box. Okay. Two mothers. Let's see if it breaks. Including the box. Yeesh. There you go. Now Dang. we got some load, right? Dude, I could easily chuck this. So it's heavy. Oh, I can't. I mean, this would suck. It was. <laughs> that's 20 ounces. But I could 25 easily ounces. this. Right? So I just don't have a lot of room. And I'm going to drop that one mother. Let me see. Yeah. There you go. You could easily heave this. Yeah, it looks like it loads are right. Yeah, this loads right. So to get a true load, I think you need two mothers. Yeah, easy. Minimum of two mothers. <laughs> All right, let's see how many slice horns we need. So five slide swimmers. Five slide swimmers. Two mothers. Two mothers and a, and a manifold. manifold and a basket and. And a basket. We're gonna see if it doesn't break the rod. Yeah, and we're gonna see. I mean, just because because I've been telling people like, dude, you could cast your whole fucking box of swim baits, right? So. <laughs> Can they? I'm getting on myself all wrapped. I'm so excited for this. All right. Here, here we go. go. The true test. You're going to have to use some power, dude. I'm going to break it. Yeah. No problem. No problem. No problem, he no problem. says. Yeah. Oh, I'm sweating, Jeff. <laughs> Griff, come tell me down. Final thoughts on the rod? Well, it can definitely manage the weight <laughs> that they claim. I mean, dude, this, I wanted to see, I was trying to push it to 50 ounces, but I think this is like six pounds. Yeah, that's a little yeah. more. So, dude, it's, it's ridiculous. It would be amazing if you're through, like the mother chaser, gone is my eight and a half foot rod. Yeah, no, we're using right? the seven foot So one. this one's gonna be way easier on it. It's still oh, gonna yeah. suck. It's still gonna Yeah, throwing like two mothers at a time or five slide swimmers, <laughs> that's not fun. But why not? I mean, I kind of want to just do it, don't Real you? Real quick, I want a donkey rig. We Do we have the double attack rig still? I've never been able to like do this kind of stuff. So God, just... you're making me think. I kind of yeah. want to throw two mothers. Is it at the ridiculous same time? that I'm about to spend a thousand dollars on a rod set just to go play around? Yes, but uh. you know, dude, why not? <laughs> and gone should be the whole feraling fear. Oh, dude, right? it's done. Everybody's like, oh, it's feraled at the grip. Can't be strong then. I mean, come on, they're all feraled at the grip. Ugh. All right, guys, that is a wrap this week for what is new. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for the support. Uh, we love coming here every Sunday morning and getting a chance to talk with you and hopefully share a beer. Hopefully I'm not the only one drinking. I know I'm not. So cheers to you guys. Happy Sunday. Thanks for giving us some time. If you guys have any questions on anything we've talked about, drop it down below in the comments and I will definitely get to it. Jeff will leave links to all the products below. How many strong jerks are you getting there, Jeff? I'm getting all five of them. That Dude, you might as well. I mean, it's, you can't have just one, right? So... Uh, until next time, guys, on behalf of myself and my family, and John and Griff and Jeff and Louise and Carmen and Ethan and Je everybody here, guys, thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for the business. Thank you for joining. Until next time, cheers. Let's go play with the strong jerk. Yeah, I want my soft jerk.